Hello, I'm Kevin Steele from the Mojo Gurus, and uh, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our new album, Gone. You know, uh, as well as being a singer-songwriter all these years, I am a huge music fan and an avid collector. And uh, as I grew older, my musical taste changed and matured. And uh, as a result, the realm of my influences expanded. At the beginning of my career, I was, uh, I suppose I was, uh, associated with a certain style of music. I was labeled. I don't like labels. I find them constricting. I find them limiting. I refuse to be limited creatively. Um, I guess the downside to that is uh, you may alienate some fans along the way. So be it. Life's too short. You gotta do what comes from here. And uh, and so uh, we try to incorporate some of these uh, influences, uh, psychedelia and uh, blues, a little Memphis soul, and a whole lot of Mojo Gru's gut bucket rock and roll. And uh, the trick to that is, is, is to incorporate these styles without losing your, your band identity, your signature sound. And uh, I think we accomplished that, and I'm very pleased with the results of this album. I think it's our best album yet. The whole band agrees on that. Um, I chose the title Gone for the album because I I'm a big fan of uh, ambiguous titles or, or lyrics. I like it when people can take more than one meaning from my lyrics or song titles. And gone can mean uh, one of several things. In the uh, rock, rockabilly vernacular, there's, uh, you know, like, wow, man, that's real, real gone. And uh, that certainly applies. Um, in a stoner vernacular, wow, that chick was gone. Out of her head, out of her mind. And, uh, if you've ever met any of the Mojo Gurus, that certainly applies. And uh, and lastly, you know, it could be taken quite literally as gone as to depart. Uh, rock and roll is a uh, savage business, and most bands aren't even afforded the luxury of knowing when their last album is. So you never know. <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been very fortunate to have worked with some of the best producers in, uh, in the uh, industry. In my earlier days, I uh, worked with Carl Kennedy, drummer for the famous Rods, and uh, he produced early albums by Anthrax, Overkill, Blue Cheer. Um, I've worked with Bo Hill, uh, best known for producing Rat, Kicks, Alice Cooper, who's a huge influence on me. Um, probably most famously, Jack Douglas, whose list of clients reads like a record roll who's who. The New York Dolls, another enormous influence on everyone in the Mojo Gurus. Aerosmith, Cheap Trick. John Lennon, for Christ's sake, and uh, somehow we bamboozled him into working with the Mojo Gurus. Uh, some of these experiences we saw eye to eye, others we bumped heads, but every one of the sessions was a learning experience which, uh, which culminated in me producing Gone. And, uh, I think without an outside uh, presence in the studio, it was a freeing experience. No one was there to influence us one way or the other, inhibit us in any way, and uh, 
we got in there and had a lot of fun and got down to business and uh, very pleased with the results. Yeah, I've got a message. Buy this album because, you know, a band's got to feed its habits, you know. Um, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Gone is, uh, is our best album yet. We're all thrilled with it, and I hope you will be too. Thank you.